Okay, good morning everyone. This is uh, Chase Swift. It is Tuesday, January 17th, and we're in my web room where a number of my team are meeting. We, we meet every morning here, and so what's really nice, I have David Jubb uh, from the UK, and uh, so that's great, and then we also have Svein Robertson from Norway. Of course, we got people in California, Loretta's in Georgia, Gene is in Chicago, James in Illinois, so it's definitely a, a global conference. And we even have Beth, who is in Ontario, Canada. So, in today's webinar, I thought I would talk about the, the power of using pay-per-click. Now, I happen to be logged into the MyPip Express. This works, or this, uh, this webinar will cover uh, the same technique whether you're using the MyPip Express or the MyPip Classic or whatever, any of the funnels that we use in MyPip, okay? Now I'm gonna click on my leads. Actually, let me go back and just point out that this, uh, this marking method is uh, in the uh, MyPip uh, Express area right here under PPC Networks, okay? So what I'm gonna explain is basically what is here, uh, you know, for everyone that joins my PIP Express or even my PIP Classic. Okay, and let me point out that the cost of PPC is low. You can control the cost. It doesn't take a lot of skill. In fact, I'm going to cover a lot of the skill that I've already learned. Long term, it's pretty long term. It's pretty good. Speed, it's okay, but the overall score is over like three and a half stars, and that's really quite good. If we compare it with other things, um, like the free and low cost guide, you're going to see a big difference. Let's say Traffic Swarm. See, this Traffic Swarm is low cost, low skill, low long term, low speed, and overall just one star. So it's okay, but nothing like uh, Pay Per Click or some of the other. Um, you know other high impact marketing methods so let's go back one more page so we have lots of options here and I'm just covering uh, PPC networks okay now there are videos that Paul has that are very extensive that go over what PPC is how to find the keywords creating your ads uh, and then scaling up your efforts which means once you find a great ad you can uh, continue it and just increase your budget as needed okay very very powerful because you are in control and if you have any PPC questions there's a video right here so most of what you need is right here uh, this video that I'm doing it just kind of showing results more than anything I'm gonna go back to step three and from that I'm gonna go to my leads okay and I'm going to scroll down quite a bit because last night I had Steven join and you can see that my little code was for PPC and I had PPC mana that's kind of a code for me that this was mana tech okay now I also have some other PPC uh, leads and you'll see them throughout uh, my leads so PPC definitely works Here's another one right up here. Okay, so um, it definitely power, very powerful method. And as you can see, I'm getting lots of leads. And each one of these uh, comes in for five cents. Five cents on average. Okay, very inexpensive. So it's a way of getting people to join my PIP for five cents. Uh, and once you set this up, it runs forever as long as you keep your account in good standing and keep it running okay so let's pop over to the Microsoft Ad Center which is we use Microsoft Ad Center because Google is much 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 more expensive we wouldn't be getting away with five cent uh, ads per click on Google you'd be more like 50 cents 75 cents 90 cents so much more expensive okay so as you can see here um, some of mine I've upped a little bit but uh, for the most part I have 
between five cents, maybe six cents. Uh, here's some that are down here at four cents. These are very inexpensive leads, okay? And you can see that I'm getting clicks, uh, 16 clicks, eight clicks, you know, one, one. And this is just for the month of January so far. I can also change it to uh, all time, okay? And we can take a quick look at that. So out of 17,000 impressions, and this is for uh, an ad on Herbalife leads, okay? Herbalife distributors, that's who I'm targeting. 52 clicks, okay? But I've only spent $2.74. On average, that's five cents, very inexpensive. Down here, seven cents a lead for 22 clicks. And, you know, it's probably about, oh, I don't know, 10, 20, 30%, it depends, will join my partner in profit. Okay, so you have a method of automating your signups. Isn't that cool? Okay, over here, um, still four cents a click. Okay, I've had 28 clicks and it's cost me a dollar to get leads from Manatech. And that's the one we'll uh, target a little bit today. I'm going to go into how, you know, why the ads work, how to write uh, an ad, everything like that. Okay, so um, now I'm in the Manatech ad, and you can see my ad was pretty simple. Free leads for Manatech. Okay, a lot of Manatech distributors will log in, and they're they're curious, or they're they're desperate, and they're like, man, I want to build this business. I want to do well. I want to I want to succeed. And so they're typing in in the uh, either MSN or Bing. Or Yahoo all three of those search engines are what we get to use with Microsoft Ad Center okay so they're typing that in they're looking for help they're looking for strategies and and then they see something like this free leads for Manatech generate hundreds of leads at zero cost free video show you how and then there's a, a website that says my partner in profit and they're like wow that's interesting so overall time uh, and this is about over four months, roughly. Um, I've gotten 28 clicks. It cost me a dollar. And I've had people join my partner in profit. So I'm getting leads on autopilot. Remember, that's the goal. Leads on autopilot is pilot is what you want. Okay. Let's look a little more in depth. So um, one of the key strategies is when you pick a keyword, and in this case, my keyword is Manatech. Okay, and sometimes leads, but generally I target just the name of the company, Manatech. And a lot of times I will add, I did not in this case, sometimes I will put generate hundreds of hundreds of Manatech leads. Okay, I, I should have put that in there and I could have, uh, and I think what I'll do is edit that a little bit and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, but generate hundreds of Manatech leads Okay, see it's it's duplicating that search term, that keyword phrase, Manatech. Generate hundreds of Manatech leads at zero cost. Free videos show you how. Okay, and then you can still um, put in my partner in profit. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit this ad. Not that it's not working, but I want to do a little bit better. Okay, so um, but before I go any further, let's look at the keywords that I'm bidding on. Okay, and you can see Manatech Scam, Manatech, Manatech Incorporated, all the keywords that I'm bidding on, except a few like Ambertoes, that's a product. It's actually a, a popular product name. And so you can use product names like that. Manatech Scam, Manatech, uh, a different spelling. No, I guess, no, this is, this is between um, the search content and, and then uh, content like on a blog. Okay, that's why there's two of them there. And you'll notice uh, another key thing that Microsoft Ad Center believes that my bid, which again is, um, well, actually at seven cents, they believe I'm not going to get on page one. Okay, and so they're concerned for me. Well, I know that because of my quality score, remember I'm repeating or I'm using the word Manatech in the ad, it's pretty relatable to what they're searching for. They're searching for Manatech. 
and ways to help their business. So they type in Manatech, and so a seven out of ten is pretty high score. So don't don't worry about this little warning. That's just the Microsoft computer being a little over. <laughs> Well, it's, it's programmed to make money, okay? So don't worry about this sometimes. When you get a good quality score and you're getting good clicks and you're getting, uh, you know, my gosh, I'm getting leads at like four cents a piece, okay? So I've only spent 25 cents. And I, I put it up a little bit higher to seven cents a click. But again, my average is four. So my quality, because it's a relatable ad, and we'll talk about that, a little bit more I'm getting a great ad this this Microsoft Ad Center loves my ad because I pretty have a pretty good uh, click-through rate I mean yes 2,000 people have searched for Manatech in this case and only 11 have clicked now you're like well that's terrible odds it's just a numbers game you will see that that's not a bad click-through rate at all okay now what's my average position I'm 7.5 which means, and I'll show you that, let's go to Bing. You could do Bing, MSN, or Yahoo. Okay, and then someone is typing in Manatech. Okay, and I'll just choose it right there. Oops, I didn't spell that right. Man, uh, Manatech. Actually, that misspelling is interesting. I should have, you might want to bid on misspellings. <clears throat> So uh, what we see here is this is slightly green right here. See it, these ads? There's a little box. These are the top two. And these people are probably paying more than five cents because they want to be at the very top. Okay. But um, my ad happens to be along the side around seven. So this is one, two, uh, three, four, five. <clears throat> and it varies. Sometimes my ad doesn't show and it doesn't look like it did today, but I'm not worried about it here. So this is position number five. Now on average, I'm at position number 7.5, which is fine. They might be clicking onto the next page, okay? Or it may just appear, it, it depends. I don't know why, but uh, it depends uh, how the computer you know who puts whose ad is on here it just varies okay a lot of the time the more you bid though the more you will guarantee your ad but uh, is on top but we would like to be smart rather than just kind of frivolous with our money okay so when you uh, target your ad you can get really good results and you can see that and we can even try a different one let's try do, 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 do. Uh, well, it's another one is, well, actually I'm getting good clicks on is Manatech Scam. Okay, so let me just copy that, it might help. Let's go to Bing. And I don't know why people uh, search on this, but they do. Okay, so number one is right here. Someone's paying a lot more than five cents to be up top and I think you'll spend more money than you need to okay here's someone selling products the amber toast but they're using the scam okay amber toast I'm not seeing uh, I'm not seeing my ad okay so that's kind of hard to understand at times but it just is the way it is um, if you go to the next page it might show okay All right, so I'm not seeing uh, any of my ads right here, but um, it can be that you can go to page two. Some people do that, and they'll look for things there, and, and they may see your ad. So it doesn't really matter. I would not be too concerned that if your position is seven or eight, look at that, I'm still getting clicks, and maybe not the highest click-through rate, but it's probably better and I think you'll agree with me it's probably better to be slow and methodical rather than just you know spend a lot of money real quick okay so these are uh, pretty good numbers now this one I'm adding I'm bidding a little bit higher but notice I'm not oh, I am getting a higher ra rate I'm at 11 cents 
because I I'd experiment just on a couple words to see if that increased my rate and it did I mean we're looking at uh, five cents here as a click-through ratio of 0.52 when I went to 11 cents it about doubled my uh, click-through rate so if you want to make this go faster you can increase your bid okay now notice you can always uh, click on the little pencil and you can always edit these um, so if you want I can just go back to seven cents okay you have full control over all of, the, all of this and then just right, go up to the bot up to the top here and click save and that way you can control your budget and not uh, be worried about overspending anything okay so I mean look at that 22 cents all time I've spent on that ad and I have several different keyword combinations so overall if you look down here I've spent a dollar in four months I've spent a dollar so it's very when you do this the right way as I'm showing as Paul teaches you don't have any worries okay so I've gotten 28 clicks spend a dollar my average cost is four cents okay so let's go back to my ad and I just want to edit that a little bit. I want to talk about setting up the right ad. It's best if you can repeat the phrase as much as possible. And as you know, I'm bidding on the main word Manitech. Okay. So let's click on this. And I'm going to modify this ad ever so slightly. Um, by the way, I want to point out that you can see my tracking result said PPC Mana. Okay, so Stephen came in and the, the tracking code was PPC MANA. Well, that's because I have tracking, and if I go to the end, right here is PPC MANA. So that'll tell me that's my MANA Tech ad. So I'm using the My Partner and Profit link, okay, the full My Partner and Profit link with the tracking right at the end. Make sure you get this exactly right so that you get good tracking. Now the display, they don't have to know where they're going to. They can just uh, sense or get the sense that they're going to go to My Partner Profit, which is a great website. If you saw that ad, you're like, hmm, generate free leads. Mm, yeah, for Manatech, My Partner Profit, it looks great. And then when they click on this, it'll take them to the next three minutes, My Pip you're Express. Going to discover a completely Let me pause that. And you'll see there's the tracker. Okay, PPC Mana. That's how your tracking works so well. Okay, so let me modify this slightly. What I want to put is the keyword Manatech in this second uh, black uh, text area. Okay, so generate hundreds of leads. I could say of, but I only have 70 characters, so you got to be concise with your words. Generate hundreds of leads at zero cost. And you can even take out that little period. Free videos. I do not need an apostrophe there. That was a mistake. Free videos show you how. Now, I don't need a period right at the end. That's another little. It takes up one of your characters. Okay. So now I have 12 characters left. So let me put Manatech. Generate hundreds Manatech leads. Okay. So now the ad reads a little bit better, and I've um, I've added the Manatech phrase a couple times, once in the headline, once in the description. Okay. Now if you go back, if you look at that, you'll see Manatech. Every time it's in the title, it's bold, but also every time it's in the description, it's bold too. And that is just better than having nothing like this ad, glyconutrient complex. I don't even know what that is. Uh, so you want to repeat the phrase like this ad, Manatech, Manatech, Manatech. Everything that has Manatech is automatically bolded, and that's what you want, okay? Because that's what they were searching for. Now, you really should, the best thing to do is write a separate ad for Manatech scam, and then you should put uh, Manatech scam, maybe question mark. So you're repeating whatever they're searching for and and the the thing I like to say a lot is if they're typing in I'm looking for yellow bananas tell them you have yellow bananas if they're looking for or they're searching on Manatech scam 
have your title Manatech scam question mark or is Manatech scam or something like that a scam both the word Manatech and scam if it were here would be bolded and then say something Manatech is not a scam or learn how to generate leads and not have Manatech as a scam I'm not sure you'd have to think about the ad but you want to repeat the phrase if they're looking for Manatech scam tell them that's what your your ad is going to help them understand better okay so uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to do Manatech scams or fraud you only have uh, uh, 25 characters for the uh, headline okay but I probably wouldn't do scams or fraud I would just probably do Manatech scam or scams and sometimes look at that now that's a key it might be that this keyword is not targeted as much and it's not I should probably write a Manatech scams PPC ad and it would appear right here for five cents okay that's that's an opportunity in fact I may even do that okay so anyway that kind of points out that you want to have the search phrase in your ad okay so let's go back and I'm gonna I'm just gonna write one for Manatech and I'll, I'll write I'll come back and do another one for Manatech scams okay so this will be really good so look at my ad free leads for Manatech and Manatech will be bolded because those are the keywords that I'm bidding for and I've added Manatech into the description okay much better so generate hundreds of Manatech leads at zero cost free videos show you how okay now I have two characters left I might just put an exclamation mark not there right at the very end okay so I'll put a little exclamation mark I only have one character remaining so I really that's a full ad I really can't do much more with that but here's something else that I can do instead of you can use my partner in profit there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes there are going to be a lot of my partner in profit ads and to stand out from all the other my partner in profit ads you may want to put a domain that forwards to your um, my pip link okay so in my case I have a domain called unlimited free leads for life okay now let's see here okay so let me copy that unlimited free leads for life now that goes as you will see it goes to the classic site hey and thanks for getting to this website you're in for a delightful treat because okay so I don't worry about this too much in fact I could just copy it as it is right there that's a good thing to copy now they're not gonna click I wanna clarify on here they're not gonna click on this this is just a display okay so uh, do you see how this fits better unlimited free leads for life free leads for Manatech it fits better now this is only if they happen to write the uh, ad down if they happen to write let's say they don't have time to click which is rare but they might just say hmm I'm gonna come back to this and they they write down on a piece of paper unlimited free leads for life dot com and I could uh, even make this even easier to read which I make it look however you want it and make it sh make sure it's easier for them to read so unlimited free leads for life dot com so again when they click here they're not going to unlimited free leads for life they're going to the link the my partner minutes, profit express a completely unique okay and then it still has the tracking link right there okay so that's where they're going to the display is just uh, an additional well it's just a display it make it can look really nice it can help your ad so my recommendation like for for the future is get a catchy but re relatable type domain that relates to a lot of your ads something that says free leads or uh, free leads with Harry or you know that type of thing or um, the best free leads uh, dot com it could be 
anything with leads or something like that would be a good domain to have. And so I'm just going to change my ad. And I don't need a www. I just need to put unlimited free leads. Now, again, when they click, they're going to go to the destination URL. All I did today was just change the description. And I put Manatech in there. So it'll be bolded. Okay. And then I also put unlimited free leads for life. Okay. So what I'm going to do is copy this. Because I'm going to write another one for scams. Let's open this up and let's minimize that actually let's do a new little I use uh, this text program just to keep track of my ads okay so that's really my ad and I'll come back uh, and do a Manatech scan okay so I have that in memory let's go ahead and click Save okay so now uh, my new ad free leads for Manatech Generate hundreds of Manatech leads at zero cost. Free videos show you how. And again, zero cost, why? Well, because many people will upgrade in my partner in profit, and you've got leads for five cents, and the, the lowest upgrade you make six dollars a month. Sometimes you could make upwards of twenty, fifty dollars a month. So you generate leads for five cents a piece. And you get upgrades in my PIP, my partner profit in the system, for six, uh, seventeen, uh, twenty-seven dollars, forty dollars with all the affiliate tools. So that's why you can afford to to play around or not play around, but uh, utilize pay-per-click ads. You're generating leads for five cents, and the system, the my PIP system, is generating affiliate income in many 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 dollars tens of dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars and even more as you're an upgraded member you can earn a lot more so that's why we can be honest and say that these leads are really ultimately in the net zero cost okay so that was uh, pretty discreet you know pretty well de described how to do this so I'm gonna do another ad and and this is the only button you ever click uh, a lot of people get stuck on ads or they click on keywords and and your uh, your buttons will change see that says create an ad you don't want to create an ad okay you want to create ad groups that's the only thing you want to do so the only button you ever click is create an ad group and I already have pretty much the ad and uh, I'll be able to um, manipulate it for the uh, keyword uh, Manatech scams. So I'm going to create an ad group. Okay, This is really how you design or how do you do it. Now remember I kind of gave me an idea. Manatech scams and there's only two little ads. So guess what? I could probably be right here number three for five cents. So this will be my keyword phrase. I'm going to copy that. Go right back here. My ad group name is Manatech Scams. Okay, so Manatech, I like capitalizing it, so Manatech Scams. That's my ad group name. This is a brand new ad, brand new. Okay, and you can see that I'm uh, advertising in Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. You can add, and this is pretty restrictive, I would add Canada and stuff like that. I've made a mistake, it seems. <laughs> I may have to check some other things. Uh, and this just goes to show you really can't make a big mistake, but I can definitely add uh, other countries because Manatech is a global company. So Manatech scams. Okay. Now I need to think of a catchy phrase. Manatech scams. Not with this. Not this way. Uh, no, that won't work. Okay, so Manit um, is Manitech a scam? And I'm going to leave the word, so that, that's even fine. Is Manitech a scams? Now, it seems weird that I would put plural, but that's what they're searching for. Remember, if they're looking for yellow bananas, make sure you tell them you have yellow yellow bananas so let's do a little bit of copy and paste okay not 
with free leads and automated auto cash flow. Okay, now I only have 12 characters. So I'm kind of uh, capitalizing on this phrase. Let's take Manitech, I'll take Manitech, I'll just leave scams, just like that. Manitech scams, okay, is Manitech a scams? And that seems weird, but that's what they're typing in. And you want to repeat, if you can, the computer, the Microsoft computer say, wow, this has a relevant term based on what they're searching for. So you can actually be smarter and get your ad up higher because it's more relevant. And, and it's more relevant because it has the same terms in it. Okay? So not with free leads and auto cash flow. Uh, details below. Details. Free details. Below. Uh, now. Okay? So uh, I have zero characters left. So free date, free details now here. I can't fit the word here. Free details. I'll just leave it free details right there. And maybe I'll put a little uh, dash right there. Okay. Um, Manitech scams is not true. No. But people search for that. So again, David, good question. Manitech scams, is it true? No, nothing is a scam, really. I mean, the only scam is if you quit. That's really what it ultimately comes up to be. Most companies are very legitimate. They have good products. They have a good compensation plan. The problem is people don't know how to promote a company and so they think they got scammed. So I don't believe in it, but if they're searching for it, that's what I want to provide them. If they're searching for Manitech scams, my ad is going to reverse them, and the people that believe it's a scam will never click on this. <laughs> they're not going to want to get free leads and auto cash flow um, because they believe it's a scam. I'm going to get to the people that are somewhat curious and they're like, wait a second, I, I love Manitech. It's not a scam. And then they read this. Not with free leads and auto cash flow. Okay, free details. And then I'm going to put in my domain. Unlimited free leads for life. Okay, that's the display. Now, when they read, now look at the ad now. See, it's not a scam. When they get unlimited free leads for life, that's awesome. Okay, now I need to get my um, link. So I'm going to go into step three. I'm going to get to my web tracking because I want to track this ad. And right here is a trackable link. It's at the very end, it says ampersand ref equals viral URL. This is, this is another advertising source. You don't use viral URL. It's just an example. So anyway, what I will do is grab this link with the tracker. And I'll just choose copy and I'll go back to the ad center and I'll need to put HTTP colon slash slash and then paste. Now this uh, viral URL I will replace and I'll just do mana scams. Okay. Oh, and I want to put PPC right there. PPC. So my tracker is PPC mana scams. That way I'll know that they came from PPC, pay-per-click, and they came from the Manatech scams ad. Okay, very cool. So I got my ad, it's all set up. Again, repeating the phrase, Manatech and scams will be bold. It'll be bold. And Manatech scams down here will be bold. It'll stand out. You want your ad to stand out. Trust me, you want it to stand out. You don't want it just to be, see, this is Manitech scams, and they don't have anything related to scams. If they type that in, don't, they, don't you think they want to see something about Manitech scams? They're looking, scam watch, they might go there. Is Manitech scam, oh, they might go there, but they might just see my ad right over here and say, hmm, and they click on that and then you get a lead or at least they see your my pip website which 
answers their questions and helps them generate leads and cash flow. So that's my goal. I want to be right here. And I might even be number two because my ad has manic tech scams in the phrase. So I'm going to copy that one more time. This will be my only keyword. Okay. Remember, you can be very precise and you want to put in a double quote and then paste that in and end it with a double quote. What that does is it makes it a phrase match. So it'll own, my ad will only show if someone types Manitech scams. Okay? Just like that. Okay? So um, don't get confused and say, oh, I gotta add all these other keywords. Because this is not remember, they're looking for yellow ban yellow bananas. These are red apples and green, you know, grapes. They're different words. They're not what they're searching for. So, um, you know, for the most part, I just stay with the main keyword. Now I'm going to open up the Google Keyword Tool and just see if there are additional words that are close to Manitech scams. Okay. So let's uh, set it up under phrase. Take off broad. We we'll always set it up that way. We always want the double quotes. Remember that. Uh, we want all countries, so I'll click off the X. And we want global monthly searches. You can close this down. And then we're looking for Manitech scams. I'm going to ask Google if there are any other phrases that have the word Manitech scams in the search. Okay, let's see what people are searching for. And no, there is only one phrase. Sometimes people would type scams Manitech. Well, they don't. Now, there's not a lot of searches. This is interesting. There's less than 10. But the cool thing is, I can create an Ad Center ad and target that one keyword. What if it only gets shown once a month and I get a lead? Uh, maybe every two months. Uh, that's a that's a win in my book. Okay, so that's the only phrase I'm going to add. It's very targeted. Okay, and I'll come down to click save. Okay, now this is uh, the last step that you want to d work on, and I'm going to give you some really good sound advice. Always start with five cents. Now the search is um, like the Bing, Yahoo, or MSN. That's the search network. So when you're clicking in here and putting a bid, you have to put something. Um, you're going to be bidding on five cents on the search network. The content network um, is like on people's blogs or they have a website of some sort and they're talking about Manitech scams. Your ad can show on that and you can choose five cents. That's the lowest you can bid is f five cents. Okay, so now I'll come down. Now, normally I leave all of this checked. Really, a lot of the times I just click save at this point. But I want to turn off the content network. I don't want my ad to appear on someone's blog or their website. I just want to concentrate in the search network because I did my research and I found a pretty open term that doesn't have a lot of ads on it. So I'm going to be number one, number two, number, well, not number one, but probably number two, maybe four. It'll vary. There'll be some other ads here, but it's a lot less than Manitech itself. So you got to be smarter at times. Now, see, that has one, two, three, four. The other one had uh, Manitech scams had, um, you know, only three. Okay, so it varies. Okay, so I'm just being a little more targeted. And any time you can be more targeted is better. Okay, so let's go back to the Ad Center. So I'm just going to be on the search network. In other words, only on Yahoo and Bing, uh, MSN, when they type in uh, Manitech scams. Very targeted. So now I click Save. And now I'm done. If I go down to the bottom... Uh, I'm not sure where it is. Let's find it. It should appear here. Let's uh, let me reset this. Go to lead generation. Um, dun, 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 start date. Let's 
I could maybe have it in a different order. Let's go down. Oh, you know what? It's probably on page two. It is. Let's go to page two. Okay, and there we are. There's my ad. Manitech scams. It's now active. My search and content bid is five cents, but notice this has a box, so it's only on searching. The content is turned off, and you see I have no impressions yet, but soon I will, and I don't have to worry about this anymore. It's, it's running. It's active. I will never bid more than five cents. Okay, now if I want to see the ad one more time, click on Manitech Scams. And there it is, is Manitech of Scams. Now I know that doesn't sound right, but again, my keyword is Manitech Scams, okay? And my only keyword is right there, okay? It's active, I will only search under the phrase, and my maximum bid is five cents. And I don't have to worry about this anymore, it'll run on autopilot. That's the power, that's the the strategy of pay-per-click being very targeted with your ads and very specific and trying to repeat the phrase as best you can even if it doesn't quite sound perfect um, I would still try to repeat the phrase as many times as you can at least maybe twice would be ideal it makes your ad more relative more relatable to what they're searching for because Manitech scams is in my ad twice so when they do the search my ad is be more relative these have Manitech but they don't have scams so my ad can actually push up higher because the computer says wow it's more relative okay it's it's relatable to what they're searching for Manitech scams Okay, so um, the rest of the training is all very good. We saw that back in step three under the marketing methods, right under PPC networks. Um, I just wanted to take the time today to give you a little more examples of the results I'm having with my leads and the fact that pay-per-click is working and it works very well. I have a number of pay-per-click uh, results where people are signing up into my PIP and not everyone will upgrade but they will over time they just haven't struggled enough yet and they keep getting my emails from the autoresponder and over time they're like wow this uh, Chase Swift he wants to keep help me with leads and cash flow that's how it works